www.newtoboss.com. My name is Ty. Uh, the video that I'm sharing you right now is about converting MLV file, or QuickTime audio only file, into a .flac file or .flac file. So again, let me repeat that. .mov, that's the one that you currently have. You'd want to convert that to flac or .flac using your Adobe Audition CS6 or any version would do. So what you'd want to do first is open up Adobe Audition. And it's going to take you to a default editor page or editor view page. Uh, if you don't have this right there, just remove that first. You go to Window. Right here, you got something that says Editor. Or you could also do Alt plus 1 on your keyboard and bring that up. It's going to say Edit or editor right there. This is also where you record raw files, raw voice files. Uh, from here it's pretty plain and simple, pretty quick. You just have to drag any file, save, output that to a desired file extension, then you're good to go. So what you want to do is go to your file path, look up for the .mov file, or QuickTime audio file, that you'd want to convert into an FLAC file. Hold that. I'm sorry, if this is the correct file, click, hold, drag, position, release, then you'd have it in there. Take a look at the file name. It says .mov, and right here, .mov, and right here, .mov. Uh, the reason why you'd want to take a uh, look at the file name to verify that you are really targeting the correct file uh, that you want to convert. Also, you might want to re-verify, play it. New to boss treats you for a valent. Right. So, uh, well, it's it's a raw file that we have. You can do any file. You could you could do uh, music, which is from uh, an MP3 source converted to MOV to MOV to FLAC. Anything you can, I mean, any file container you can convert that here using Adobe Audition CS6. So from here, what you'd want to do, Control A to highlight. Uh, you could go to File right here, uh, Save Selection As, or you got a secondary shortcut, Control Alt plus S on your keyboard again, Control Alt S on your keyboard, and you'd be having the Save Selection As panel, or you could also do it really fast here. Control A, right click directly from there. You got something that says save, selection as, click on that. It's going to give you the same. Now, you'd want to rename the file. Instead of MOV, you'd want to change that to uh, FLAC or FLAC file this time, right? You say pizza, FLAC, dot MOV. Why still on MOV? Because you just changed the file name not the extension yet. So go to the second part that says location and send that to desktop so we can check or whatever file path that you would want to drop it to. Now third format, you got something that says QuickTime audio only dot MOV. You click on that, you got a lot of options right here. You can convert that to a lot of file types. Again the purpose right now is just to convert that to a FLAC or dot FLAC file, which is here, lossless file format dot flac. Click on that and notice the file name. It doesn't say mov anymore, but it says flac or dot flac right now. So, thinking so, you're actually good to go. But if you'd want to add some more changes, you could go to sample type right here. Click on that. You can change the source, make it mono, make it stereo, make it 5.1. Also here. You can change the bit depth 86, 24, 32, or maintain from the source. You got dithering right here. You can enable, disable. It's all up to you. But if you just would want to maintain everything uh, from the .mov orientation to an FLAC, nothing changed but just the extension, you could just go click on OK from here. Click on OK. It's going to save that. Go to your desktop right here. Verify you still have the original file, which is this .mov, and you got two additional files right here. Why? The second one is an XMP file, so 
just go throw that to the recycle bin and here is the converted file it says flac or dot flag right now so again this is the original file this is the converted file if you want to play that you would have vlc player or whatever media player that you have in there with the right codec it's gonna play drag new to boss treats you for a valentine it's too loud well anyway that's how you convert a file or an mov file audio only file quicktime based to dot flac file in case you'd want to learn more about Adobe Audition CS6, please do subscribe to our channel, youtube.com slash newtoworks, and do visit our website, www.newtoboss.com. Okay, my name is Ty. Thanks for watching.